you're looking at one of the oldest fragments of the Quran ever discovered. It's written on parchment, most likely made from sheep or goatskin, and it's been dated by experts as being more than 1300 years old. And that makes it among the earliest known fragments of the Quran anywhere in the world. And it's here in the University of Birmingham. This remarkable document had been resting on the shelves of the university library for decades without anybody realising just how old it was, until a researcher decided to take a closer look. The pages were radiocarbon dated to no later than the year 645, which means the university has found one of the very earliest known examples. Finding out that we had one of the oldest fragments of the Quran in the, in the whole world was fantastically exciting individually and, and for the university of well, as well. I mean, we were expecting it to be early, but we, we did not, I think in our wildest dreams, expect that it would roughly correlate to the lifespan of the Prophet Muhammad, which makes it uh, an incredibly early Quranic fragment. The manuscript had been stored here in a collection of Middle Eastern documents brought to Birmingham in the 1920s. Academics here say that this discovery goes back to the earliest years of Islam. The person who actually wrote it may well have known the Prophet Muhammad. He would have seen him probably. He would maybe have heard him preach. Um, he may have known him personally and that really is quite a thought to conjure with. Birmingham has one of the country's biggest Muslim communities and they have welcomed having such a treasure in their city. When I saw these pages I was very much moved and there were tears of joy and emotions in my eyes and I am quite sure that even the people from all over UK would come here to Birmingham to just have a glimpse of these pages People will love this. This is an exceptionally rare and valuable discovery, and the university says it will be put on public display. It has no intention of letting these pages from world history leave Birmingham. Sean Coughlin, BBC News. This uh, Quranic manuscript held at the University of Birmingham forms part of our Mingana collection of Middle Eastern manuscripts in the Cabra Research Library. We've recently made a very exciting discovery. We've had the manuscript radiocarbon dated and it's proved to be one of the earliest Quranic manuscripts in the world. The dating of this manuscript is a great discovery for the university. We're now aware of a genuine treasure in the University of Birmingham Special Collections, a treasure that is of global significance to Muslim heritage and to the study of Islam, as well as being a source of great pride to the local community. The context of the Birmingham manuscript, if it is what we now think it is, is very important indeed. Islam is associated, of course, with the Prophet Muhammad, and he lived in the late 6th and early 7th century. Now, this manuscript could well have been written just after he died. The parts of the Quran that are contained in those fragments are very similar indeed to the Quran as we have it today. And so this tends to support the view that um, the Quran um, that we now have is more or less very close indeed to the Quran as it uh, was brought together in the early years of Islam. The two leaves that have been carbon dating were put together with other seven leaves uh, coming from another manuscript and probably they were put together in the same manuscript, uh, the 1572, uh, because of the similar script. The script is the Hijazi script, uh, called also uh, Ma'il script, that means slanting because of the characteristic of the script. I am honored to see this manuscript, which is very unique, which 